First up, though, the draw for Qatar 2022 takes place tomorrow. And after Gareth Southgate voiced his concerns over the country's suitability to host the tournament, the World Cup's chief executive insists the competition can be a catalyst for change. Accusations concerning the treatment of workers have plagued the build-up to the tournament, but Nasser al Qatar has defended the country. Somebody with a lot of influence, such as Southgate, somebody with a, a big audience that listens to what he says, has got to pick his words very carefully. And I think before making statements like that, when it comes to the workers, he needs to come here, speak to workers, understand what workers uh, get out of being here. You know, there are isolated cases. These are the cases that make it to the media. Other than it being the, the biggest sporting event in the world, it's also a, an event that you can use to be a catalyst for development, be a catalyst for progression. And we've seen 12 years ago when Qatar got, won the rights to host the World Cup, a lot has changed here, whether it's on an on a infrastructural level, whether it's on a social level, on a human level. Well, a football tournament for migrant workers who've helped build the World Cup stadiums took place in Doha on Wednesday. And the Norwegian Football Federation president believes FIFA can do more to address concerns from football fans surrounding the treatment of workers. The award was difficult in itself, the process of it itself, and, and it took very many years also uh, before these issues were addressed. Uh, FIFA has, has addressed it in many ways, but it's, it's uh, far from enough. So, uh, of course, it's mixed feelings around this uh, thing. It should be. Well, the Global Union for Workers in the Building and Timber Trades has called on Qatar government to improve the treatment of workers. There are still many are being exploited on the ground by, by the different employers. You know? And the government, it's not a perfect labor laws. They put in place the laws. But we, they really have to enforce this.